Supreme Court verdict and the crisis happening in Nigeria today, the British government has finally exposed. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my noble channel where I will tell you the fact. The crisis you are seeing today in Nigeria has come to expose so many atrocities committed by both the British government and the Nigerian state themselves. These people are not claiming that he was are the ones causing what is happening in Nigeria, causing the hardship. These good for nothing leaders that calls themselves Nigerian government single handedly collaborated with British government who wants to numb the canal down by all means because he was about to expose them the atrocities that they are committing in Africa the atrocities that they are committing in Nigeria the atrocities that they are committing in the whole world He told them he wanted out. He told them he wanted the freedom of his people. That is the only crime. That was the only crime he committed against the British and the state of Nigeria. Something that is in Shema United Nations chapter. A single, some simple referendum to determine if fully people who are living in that part of the country still interested in staying with that goddamn Nigeria that they call it. What they did as a citizen of Britain, they could not arrest him in Britain. Rather, they prefer to use some flavors who call themselves Igbo men in Despera to trace his whereabouts. They bribed them with so much millions. And for that reason, there was a plan. There was an execution. They executed what they are. Slave masters told them to do just to make sure they killed them out of an the color shot. He was kidnapped in Kenya. Illegally transported to Nigeria with the help of Kenya former leader. Today, from court to court, and the court continues to set him free. Whenever court sets him free, a president that called himself a president who's supposed to protect the constitution. That he is meant to protect when secretly to bribe judges, to threaten judges, because so many judges in Nigeria are so bears to their stand, they are always afraid. This is why you see judges coming into office to back that door. You can never see a respectable judge in Nigeria. If you have any, I will plead with you to show me. Even those of them who can they are responsible. It's very hard for them to be selected to charge a case like Mas and the Canals. Because they don't want themselves to be destroyed. So many atrocities are going on in Nigeria. And you ask yourself, why are Nigerians suffering? In a country where they have resources that can be able to take care of everyone and make that country one of the most beautiful in the world if not better than dubai and every other neat country in the world 
But we are here where we will look at small, small countries who has no resources, mineral resources. They are moving forward, making their people proud. But because a man decided to call a spare a spare, for that reason, he had to die. For that reason, British government wanted him to die. For that reason, Nigerian government wants him dead. The so-called judiciary wants him dead. If not, when you set a man free from court and the president refused to do so, or the useless DSS from the ambit of Boko Haram recruited, refused to do so, all you needed to do is come out, lay a voice to the public, tell them to protest about this evil. But because some people believe that he was more suffering in Nigeria, for that reason, Kano must continue to take custody. In fact, aided by some useless entities that call themselves Igbos. Because of money and because of power. Since we can murder the so many old people, people in old people, did you see anyone speak anything about it? Apart from IPOB and then the Kano. And this was also one of the things why he was kidnapped. If you don't know it now, Wike was part and parcel of the kidnap of Namde Kano. They contributed so much amount of money for his kidnap. Some to criminal somewhere in Despera to lick his movement. Like Jesus Christ, he knows he was about to be killed. He knows his disciples will betray him. He knows his disciples will deny him upon that. He could not to move on. He left everything in the hands of God. The sovereign, the crisis you are seeing today in Nigeria is the atrocities they committed against Namde Kano. And still committing against him. And this is how it will remain. Because we have already cost Nigeria. Not only that we cost Nigeria, the dead bodies of all those that we care is killed. Oh my, he is killed. Bloody killed. Including the worst people is killing today are all costing Nigeria land. And that land will remain cost until Namde Kano is released and be apologized to. Go and mark it one place. I give you this thing today as an assignment. Mark it one place. I started saying it long time ago while he was kidnapped. And that is how it will remain. It doesn't matter how many pastors you have in Nigeria. They are all blind. They can't see. British government. Apart and parcel of the problem Nigerians are having today. I put some innocent Nigerians there. Did I, should I call them innocent? Should I call them innocent Nigerians? The answer is no, because when you look at things, you find out that those poor people are actually their own problem. Because they are hungry. This man has made them become so hungry to the extent they are now following them shamelessly like slaves. That is why a man like Tinibu can rig himself into office and continue where his so-called predecessor stopped. This is why a man like Wiki can kill innocent people and still move around as a, what? a minister in capital territory. A man who's supposed to be in prison for genocide he committed in Obibu. We can murder police officers in Obibu. After that, he collaborated with us at Okobo, and the man that you call president, governor today of River State to keep it close, put the blame on IPOB, bring in soldiers, massacre them. Everything was planned. Even that Fubra was a part of it. That is why whatever he's going through, they look at them and laugh. They say, ah, Fubra is a good man, this is a laugh. But let him to confess. Otherwise, what he did with Wike and Asari, otherwise, so many problems is coming. I'm not one of those who miss words. I tell you the things the way it is. 
when you say Nigeria is dying, Nigeria will die indeed. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.